Good afternoon, YouTube. Been doing a lot of thinking on uh, some diesel additives for the old Duramax here. And uh, most of you realize that, you know, there's a lot of problems with the diesel fuel nowadays. Uh, the low 15 parts per million now versus what it used to be, uh, right around 500 parts per million on the sulfur level. <clears throat> which causes us diesel owners to have a little bit of trouble especially when it comes to keeping the engines running smoothly and running as normal as possible. Uh, EPA regulations are, are kind of stupid in those aspects because they don't look at longevity. They look at more of uh, people needing to have injectors replaced or anything of that nature. Uh, just for the simple fact is a low quality fuel they do offer nowadays. So, that being said, a couple of diesel additives that I kind of want to talk about. Sorry about all the background noise. So we, we look at the uh, diesel additive by Hotshot Secrets, Hotshot's Diesel Extreme Fuel, Diesel Clean, and we have Stanodyne. Uh, I used the Diesel Clean. I didn't really particularly care for it. Just for the simple fact is, it, it does seem to burn a little dirtier, and I seem to lose a little bit of fuel economy and horsepower with it. But overall, it's kind of what's been out there. Stynodyne. I do like that uh, they do produce a, a good additive, and it seemed to increase my fuel economy as well as it did seem to overall performance-wise. Um, then we got the uh, Diesel Extreme. Now I'm going to talk about that just for a minute. The Diesel Extreme was a very good product in general uh, from what I've used so far. And the in miles per gallon has increased. Um, also we have increased throttle response. Um, and I want to talk about the Diesel Oil Additive in just a minute. But the Diesel Extreme seems to be a lot better obviously than the uh, diesel clean wasn't impressed with the diesel clean and of course you can pick this up for about twenty dollars this was about twenty five uh, the stiction eliminator was right around a little over fifty for that uh, the stonodyne i think i paid right around nineteen for that um, but overall i am impressed with the stonodyne now, the, let's go back to the Stiction Eliminator. Um, the diesel oil additive, I'm very impressed with it. I've uh, noticed improved starting and just overall performance. Very impressed. Um, the Diesel Extreme, where it may be a little expensive, is actually very, very, very good, in my opinion. Um, again, this one treats up to uh, 160 gallons. This one says, uh, 250 for the diesel clean and of course we have the 60 gallons for the stonodyne uh, the stonodyne was a lot better in my opinion overall as far as uh, performance wise in some aspects I did notice fuel economy improving um, less black smoke um, it just seemed a little bit better I would say. Now the diesel clean, I ended up using the entire bottle on a tank and a half basically and noticed really no improvements. Um, but that's just my opinion. The diesel extreme fuel additive, I've only used really, you know, basically uh, probably 16 ounces of this. Um, I've ran several tankfuls of fuel through the truck and notice that it does help immensely on a lot of aspects of fuel economy throttle performance um, as far as responses uh, easy starting in the mornings uh, and it's been down to about 30 degrees today it's about 75 degrees today the stiction eliminator I did notice a massive improvement though when I added that to the oil and I really honestly didn't use very much because well the oil had already been changed in the truck and I only used a little bit of the the stiction uh, eliminator but I did notice a massive improvement overall 
um, especially when it came to upper end um, accelerations and and things of that nature the the turbo of course sounds a lot better um, it doesn't have all the residue and stuff in it um, I did do a uh, PCV reroute so that did help there as well to keep all the junk from the uh, from the oil going into the turbo but the most performance I have to say that I have received uh, was probably from the diesel extreme um, so and all in all uh, you can take it for what it's worth but I think it was a, a better product overall uh, granted like I said it's about $25 for that for that bottle of it and that's two quarts 64 ounces um, but I do want to talk on the Steinadyne. Um, I used a half a bottle of, of that in one 25 gallon tank and I did notice a massive improvement over the diesel clean but again Steinadyne and diesel clean have been around forever um, so it was the hot shot secrets for the most part um, but it, I did notice a marginal improvement with diesel clean the only problem I did notice with the diesel clean was it did give me a lot more black smoke um, it doesn't burn as clean in my opinion um, Stunadine was a little bit better uh, but it did offer the performance that I was looking for and in the future I'm going to try a couple more different ones like the Ever Everyday Diesel um, from the Hot Shots so I'll see how that works um, I'm going to look at my fuel filter and next time I do a oil change and a filter change for the fuel filter and we'll see how that turns out thanks for watching